Ready to go see with Nina and Papa? <laughs> Sophia, where are we going? Disney World. We're not going to Disney World. Where are we going? Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We are here in Maui. Today's video is kicking off our first video in my Hawaii vlog um, series since we're going to be here for the next 10 days. Spending time on the beach, pool, checking out the island and such. We're just relaxing for a little baby moon this um, winter, I guess. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. I thought I would share with you guys a little bit about our journey yesterday. Um, I'm actually sitting out on our little balcony here. A little table, everything but a pool in the ocean. Um, and I'm just about to sit down and do my makeup. I thought I would do a little, a little bit of a get ready with me um, this morning, share a few of my new beauty products, and um, kind of talk about how we got here. So, we need this morning. I am still using my Bobbi Brown um, primer, the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, I've been using this for a while now. I know I featured it quite a long time ago. But it's so nice. It's supposed to be wearing nothing at all. And it just helps your makeup fly down like so nice and smooth. It smells amazing. So I picked up recently the uh, Charlotte Tilbury um, Light Wonder uh, Foundation. It's like a pretty lightweight foundation, but it provides pretty good coverage. And my skin is like kind of combination skin, so it doesn't like tend to cake anywhere, which is good. So we got in um, to Maui yesterday at like 6.20, I think it was, Maui time. And that's like after midnight, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it was kind of a rough day of travel. We flew actually three and a half hours from Detroit to Salt Lake first. And then the second leg was from Salt Lake to Maui, which was like seven hours. One thing we would definitely do differently next time with a two-year-old toddler is not fly both those flights on the same day. We would have broken it up. Um, I think that would probably be a little bit better for getting her more acclimated. We kind of wanted to just push through. We were thinking that would be a good idea and get her like on island time earlier. Yesterday was a struggle. I think she slept a total of 45 minutes the whole travel day, which for anybody who's a parent knows that's just not quite enough. <laughs> so there was a lot of movie watching, a lot of crying, um, a lot of snacks. So I've been still using this Chella eyebrow pencil. I absolutely love it. Um, I use a couple other ones sometimes, but I usually, this is the kind of my go-to for easy makeup. And then I actually bought a restock of the Anastasia Pure Eyebrow Gel. Um, I love this stuff. It's great for keeping all your like the little hairs up where you want them. So I've been testing for a couple of these under eye um, like color correctors, and I really like this Bobbi Brown one. I usually use this like small kind of flatter brush to apply it, and then I'll use my finger to kind of blend everything in. So our plan for today is we're actually going to go check out. It's called Black Rock Beach, so I think it's like one of the um, like former like lava flows from the island that's now turned into like a beach. I guess there's a lot of good like diving spots there and such. Obviously, we're not doing that today. <laughs> we're pregnant and with a two-year-old, but we're gonna check out the beach and then um, hopefully grab some lunch over at a shopping kind of area called Whalers Village. Our backup plan, if Sophie wakes up and she's not managing well, is just to go pool and hang out this morning. So, so I'm using my um, Tarte clay, um, Amazonian clay uh, palette just for like some contouring and I use this for shadow when I'm just doing like a more neutral kind of day look. I use the same palette for my like, contouring my um, cheekbones. And then I do like this um, Anastasia um, powder bronzer. This is the Rosewood shade. It's very nice kind of warm tones. I'm still using, um, I, I know I've shown this before, um, this is like a favorite of mine, and it's really gross because I use it all the time. This Marc Jacobs Eyelash Primer, uh, it's really nice for like extending your lashes if you don't want to wear like false lashes, which I don't really want to do regularly anyways. Alright, so while that dries, I actually, this is a new favorite of mine, um, this Tarte Shape Tape. It's a pretty popular product, and I finally tried it, um, Glow Wand. It's in a sunbeam shade. And this is what I'm using under eye. I've also been using the Liquid Mineral Concealer from Bare Minerals, which is a good one too. So I'm still using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. It smells great. 
And then I think I'm just going to use a little bit of this lavender from Fenty Beauty. Um, they're like Pro Filter Powder. I like the lavender because it really helps to kind of color correct too under the, um, in the under eye area. And it gives a little bit of like brightness and kind of shimmer. Alright, so I'm going to put inside. I'll do my lips like with a curry leaf. Um, but I'll save some of these awake yet and get dressed and get ready to go head down for some breakfast. Alright babe, tell us about your, uh, what did you order for breakfast? Fashion orange guava. And this is like a Hawaiian thing, right? Like a specialty. Is it good? It's great. We're having breakfast at Papa Aina, which is like the Pioneer Inn, and I believe it's in Lahaina. It's like about 10 minutes from our hotel, so we got milk already, right? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. What'd you get, babe? Breakfast straws. I cannot wait to try that. We got a little coconut donut for Sophia. And I got the veggie benedict, which looks amazing. It's kinda crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody singing oh everybody singing oh. So we just finished breakfast at Papa Aina, which is at the Pioneer Inn, right across the street. Right there. It was phenomenal, very, very expensive, but really, really good. And now we're checking <laughs> <laughs> really expensive, yeah. We're checking out this cool like banyan, banyan tree. tree. Yeah. Like one whole tree. One whole tree. Wow. This is so cool. After our delicious breakfast, we headed over to Ka'anapali Beach's famed Black Rock Beach. Created from a lava flow gushing into the ocean, this is a popular spot to go rock jumping into the water and also a good spot for snorkeling and whale watching. Legend has it that spirits used to jump off this rock to join their ancestors in the afterlife, and it's considered bad luck to take any of the rocks from the beach. For lunch, we headed over to a highly recommended restaurant at Whaler's Village, Monkey Pod. This place was so good, we ended up coming back here twice for lunch. Don't miss out on the delicious cocktails like their famous Mai Tais, and be sure to save room for a slice of banana cream pie. It is life-changing. What did you get? Monkey Pod Mai Tai. And that's like what they're famous for, apparently? Supposedly. Yeah. Uh, it's got a passion fruit foam on it. Looks so good. Looks really good. Called, but it's like a non-alcoholic with um, soda and like, like a blue, lily blue lily something, lime. Looks so good. <laughs> All right, we just got done with lunch and monkey pod. And what did you think, babe? That was really good. It was so good. We got the uh, ahi tuna tacos, um, lobster, double eggs, which is so good. And fish and chips. Oh. Fish and chips. And it was uh, super good. Much recommended. We may come back. <laughs> Yeah. Good evening. I thought I would share a little outfit for tonight. Are we gonna share Sophia's outfit too? Hmm? Yeah, yeah you're wearing a jean jacket? Jean jacket. <laughs> so I have this old um, like ribbed midi dress from H&M, which I love. I absolutely love this color. It's like this taupey kind of brown. It's perfect for the summer. Um, and then I'm just pairing it with jean jacket because it is a little bit windy out today. And then I paired it with my new beach bag by Lau. I think it's Lau or Lau, I'm not quite sure. Um, and some black sandals and my Brixton hat. I always wear this hat, it's a classic. So we are headed actually down the beach to Duke's Beach House for dinner. It sounds really good. It's really nice out so, and it's very close. So we can actually walk there, so it's perfect. So are you ready to go to dinner, Missy? Do you wanna come show us your outfit? Are you wearing Old Navy? Yeah? <laughs> All right, let's go. Duke's Beach House is less than a five minute walk from the Weston Nenea Villas along this gorgeous boardwalk. The restaurant's view was perfection. The frozen pog juice is a don't miss drink and be sure to order the crab and mac nut wontons. We just finished dinner at Duke's, which was pretty good. I will say not as good as breakfast and lunch. Um, Monkey Pod was just so good, but I wanted to share with you guys because I forgot to share earlier. I got the cutest little bracelets. So these two at the end here. Um, from this store, Mahina, which is at Whaler's Village, which is just like a shopping center um, right in Lahaina by our hotel. And they are so cute and they were like very affordable, super cute. I'll try and find the store online and link it below for you guys too. All right, so we're gonna head to bed. We have an early morning tomorrow. Hopefully gonna be able to get up early. I'm sure we'll be able to get up early <laughs> and uh, go for a little hike. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.